Hello and welcome in this talk about East War under the hood. My name is Guillaume Cho, I'm part of the Vue.js Escort team, and you can find me on Twitter or GitHub. And today I'm going to talk about East War, which is a tool that allows you to write story. So a story is an isolated environment where you can mount your components using mock states. And this is very useful to showcase your component in an organized way so that you or your colleagues can easily understand the components available to them in the project. It also allows you to develop components in isolation because sometimes it's useful to not have uh, the rest of the application around it. It makes things easier. Finally, it's also useful for testing your components. For example, you can automatically take screenshots of every stories in your Istor application to test for visual regressions that could slip through your development. Despite being still in development, Istor is packed with a lot of features you can already try. Uh, my favorite are the automatic stories generated from my Tailwind tokens, such as background colors or text sizes. And I also really like the, the variant grids, which allows you to see a lot of different variants at the same time. Uh, for example, uh, all the different types of buttons you can have in your application, which I find very useful. So in the beginning, the concept behind Istoa was to change the way I write stories in a Vue project. So I wanted to write the stories in the same way I write Vue components elsewhere in the project, but not using an entirely different syntax. So here is an example uh, story using Istoa in a Vue project. So you can see that it looks exactly like an, a normal Vue component. And I can define a story using the story component, put a title on it, and also put different variants inside. So let's go to the main topic of the talk, which is Vit and how it makes Istor possible. So Istor is a Vit native tool, which means it's basically reusing Vit from your Vit project instead of having an entirely new build pipeline to process your files which has a great advantage of simplifying your set, setup and configuration because you already have one. We can also take advantage of the amazing features provided by Vit, such as the very fast uh, hot module replacement system. So let's take a look at how Istor works under the hood. So first, let's see what happens when you run the Istor dev command, which is used to develop your Istor application. It starts your, the vid development server, which is very similar to what you do with vid directly, except it has a lot of configuration specific to Istor on top of it. And we can also see that we have a few watchers on your file system scanning for files. So the first one is going to look for your storage files, and the other one is going to find markdown files. So in this example, we have a markdown file, which uh, is um, going to extend an existing story. And we also have two standalone markdown files, which are going to generate docs-only stories. Next to it, we have a Vitnode server, which is going to be useful because Node doesn't understand some of the files in your project the way Vit does. For example, we can have view component as a story, which is going to be processed and run and executed by Vitnode instead of Node directly. Uh, this is the collection phase where uh, Istua is going to get information about the title of the stories and the number of variants, which is going to be uh, helpful in the main UI. Next, those information is gonna, are going to be made available in the VidDev server to be sent to the browser later. You can note here that we are not leaking 
the markdown of the story one yet. This is going to be done in the browser later. Speaking of browser, what happens when you open the Istor application in the browser? So the main UI is a pre-compiled uh, web application, which is great because it's going to load faster and you do not have to build it. But how then can we dynamically load the stories into it? So that's where virtual modules come into play. This is a very powerful feature from Vid that allows you to create file that doesn't exist on your disk. So for example, the first thing that Istor does uh, in the browser is to import the files and the tree information to display the pane on the left from a virtual module, which is called Istor Stories. So on the Vid dev server side, we have a plugin, a Vid plugin that is resolving this virtual module into an actual ID. Otherwise, Vid would consider that this file doesn't exist on your file system. And then we can generate any arbitrary code we want to be returned to the browser. So here we can uh, send back the files and also the data about the tree to be displayed in the UI. And the next thing is that we can also integrate with the art module replacement system from Bit, so that we can automatically refresh the, the stories tree uh, on the left when you add a new story, for example. In fact, we use this system quite a lot uh, in ESWA. As you can see, we have a, a lot of different virtual modules being loaded in the browser. So, for example, we have the resolve configuration, which can be useful. We have the CSS variables to change the color of the UI. We also have some uh, support plugins to be compatible with uh, different frameworks. We have the Magon files. We have also this, the search indexes to power the full text search uh, feature of the UI. And all of those can uh, integrate with the hot module replacement system of FIT. So what happens when you, we want to display a story? So first we're going to take a look at the virtual module we just loaded. And we can, we're going to find a dynamic import to the view component which is the story file. So we are using a mount component for this, which is going to load the story file using the vid development server. And we can extract a few information about it, such as the props, like the, the, the icon, the icon color, or other settings put on the story props, and also the slots on other render functions. And those are going to be useful to render the story. So next we have two renderers, which are going to uh, render the content and also the controls, because you can customize the, the controls pane for the story. And the mounts and the renderers are going to use support plugins to be able to understand your story file. So in this case, it's going to be the view free support plugin. And next, we can see that those renderers are also be able to uh, use the setup code from virtual modules to, uh, for example, install view plugins or register global components into your stories. We can also, at this point, uh, fetch the relevant markdown files to add documentation next to the controls pane for this story. Another important feature of Istwa is the state synchronization between the renderers. When you write a story using Istwa, you don't have to care about sending the state between the controls and the main content and your setup uh, code, because Istar does the heavy lifting for you. Even if the content is rendered inside an A-frame, which is the case when you want to test a responsive design. 
Another interesting feature of Istra is generating a source code that you can copy and paste into your project. So imagine you display a story about a button and you want to reuse the final result you see in the story but inside your actual application, this feature allows you to do just that with just a copy and paste. And that's it. We have a, a story application running in our browser. So the nice thing about virtual models is that when you run the virt build to compile your Istoire application in production, it will automatically turn those virtual modules into static code, which is perfect to deploy your Istoire application in production where you don't have a VIT development server. And that's it for the talk. I hope you learned the stuff about Istoire and VIT. I would like to thank my sponsors, which allow me to work on more open source stuff. And you can find more information about Istoire on Istoire.dev and sponsor us if you like. Thank you a lot. Take care and bye-bye.